so today I'm going to share with you what's in my travel bag. I'm going on a long haul fly in a few days so I thought it would be a good opportunity to share with you exactly what I take with me on this is for in the cabin um, obviously I have my case which will be um, go under the plane with me but this is all the things that I take on board the plane so the bag that I've got is um, this um, is it black shiny it's a pretty big size it's really useful it's very lightweight so it means I can put a lot of things in without getting too heavy um, I have no idea where it's from, I've had it for years but I just keep using it again and again um, I always think oh I better get myself a new bag and then holiday comes around and I just forget about it so that's my bag so now I'm going to share exactly what goes in it first off I have some books, the first one I've got which was bought for me for my birthday was The Fault in Our Stars so I'm really looking forward to reading that, that was, wasn't something I asked for um, but it was something I quite fancied reading so that was really good and the other book is called is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I think this is also like Fault in Our Stars going to be a film so I always like to read books before I watch the film so that's another really book that I'm looking forward to and then this one is A Tap on the Window by Linwood Barclay um, this isn't actually my book, it's Kiel's, I bought it for him for his birthday so this is one we're kind of going to both read and show because I read so fast, I read very quickly um, so I need to have quite a lot of books with me so I'm hoping that he's going to also take some good books so I can steal some of his um, neither of us had Kindles because um, I really like the feel and sort of smell and touch of a book but I can see when you go on holiday that that would, would be quite handy because taking a lot of books is quite heavy and takes up room and then the last book that I've got is this book by Richard Branson, Business Strip Bear. Um, this is kind of going to be my business book, um, just to read a little bit in the morning. So that's all my books. Next, I have just this little bag, which is was a gift from Thailand, and it's just the perfect size for just a few bits of makeup. Inside, I've got a hair clip for when you're kind of feeling a bit bedraggled, and you can just clip your hair back out of your face. I've also got um, an Arbon bronzer. Um, I have my own Arbon business, so I always use Arbon makeup, so I've got a bronzer. And this is sort of like a, an old one that's on its way out, so I'll probably throw it away when I go on, when I, before I come back. Um, and then I can use a fresh one when I get home. I've also got this lovely little mirror that's just so I can keep a check on how I look when I get off the plane, because it's never you never look good after a long haul flight. I also have a pen and a comb for my hair just to give it a little brush. Um, I've got these new, brand new sunglasses. They're um, by a mate called Salice and I also am the marketing director at Pen Eye Cycles. That's sort of one of my jobs that I do. And we sell these. So this is my Salice sunglasses. So I'm looking forward to giving them a try. They make actually really very dark then so those are perfect for sort of on the beach and when you really need to protect your eyes if you're lying on the sun or for my birthday I received these headphones which are urban ears and they just really look really comfy the ones that I've got that in-ear ones and I find after a while they get really uncomfortable um, when I'm on a plane I just watch films pretty much all the time so I want something comfy for my ears so these are my urban ears and what's really good about them is you can also plug in their um, somebody else's earphones so if you're watching sort of a film or listening to some music then somebody can share with you so that's really cool. Next up I've got my notepad so I can just make some notes, write some stories, write some business lists or do some things, just whatever comes to mind. I've got a nice notepad that I got for my birthday. I've got another pair of sunglasses which are these Ray-Bans which are great just for on a sort of when you play somewhere special through the day um, I really like the fit of these, these are not actually mine, these are kids but I stole them off him even though I bought them for him uh, I've got this I got this magazine also for my birthday, it was my birthday like a couple of weeks ago that's why I've got quite a lot of new things and this is 26 top bosses reveal how to succeed in business um, and I just think wow this is really good to take on holiday and just sort of read it's all about business and hopefully it'll give me some inspiration while I'm on the beach. Then got my clear bag um, which obviously when you fly in long haul or flying anywhere you have to put all your liquids which are under I think 100, 100 millilitres 
in um, a clear bag so I, I've sort of already prepared so in here I've got my um, vitamin D B12 spray which just helps obviously when you're on a plane and um, there's a lot of bugs going around often you're in confined spaces next in there I have just a mini hand cream because I always find my hands get, can get quite dry and can also sort of put this anywhere else and then um, for extra dry areas, I get the skin conditioning oil again. It's another album product, and I put this on my um, on my thing. I put this on my fingernails. That's the word. Uh, and then again, any sort of dry, maybe my elbows or anything that gets dry, because I find that when I'm on a plane, my skin gets very very dry. And then also I've got an inhaler, and I've then I got a lipstick, lip gloss, and then. I've got my iPad so I can kind of maybe listen to some music, watch some films, maybe do whatever, do some typing. I've got another pair of sunglasses, three sunglasses, but I always take them in my carry-on case rather than my um, normal suitcase because I think that they just keep them more protected. So these are my final pair of sunglasses that I really love. I got these from Boots, I just love them. I've been wearing them all summer. And then I also have this really cute, really nice little bag where I've just put all my jewellery in here that's, that'll do me for the holiday. Um, I always like to again keep my jewellery because some of it's very either sentimental it was bought, some of it's you know very nice so I want to keep that safe. And then the only things that I'm missing now, that's sort of my bag so far, the only things that I'm missing are my medication, I always carry that with me but I can't pack that until the morning that I go because so obviously I take it in the morning and I just need my phone and my chargers um, and my camera will be going in the bag as well. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, maybe give you some tips of what you could take with you next time you go on a flight on a plane. Um, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, comment below what you usually pack with you and I would really love for you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!